Good morning. Uh, I appreciate you all being here. Uh, in particular, uh, I want to thank my colleagues on City Council, as well as the other uh, elected and government officials, business and community leaders for joining me here today. A few months ago, when Representative Driscoll made the announcement that she will be a candidate for Congress, I was overwhelmed by the support and encouragement that I received from people throughout the county and throughout the state, encouraging me to be a candidate for the 52nd House District. All of us in elected office receive a fair amount of criticism, and I've always accepted that, understanding that it's inevitable. In fact, it makes us accountable and helps us to do our jobs better. That said, when people take the time to reach out and share positive feedback, or let us know when we're doing a good job, it means a great deal. In fact, it means more than words can express. Over the course of the last months, I have met with dozens of people throughout Western Washtenaw County to discuss the 52nd House seat and the issues they feel are most important and the qualities that they are looking for in their next state representative. It will likely come as a surprise to no one here that I'm very passionate about public service and I believe that if done right, it is one of the most rewarding callings. People, people have also taken notice of the tremendous progress that the Saline community has made during the past few years. Of course, this was not accomplished by one single person, but was a collaborative effort and I'm very blessed to work with a talented team at City Hall and with a number of committed civic leaders. As both mayor and as an employee, excuse me, of the Michigan House of Representatives, I am keenly aware of the impact that state legislators' decisions have on our everyday lives. In many ways, I'm concerned with the direction that Michigan is going. I think we need leaders who focus on the issues that will make us a successful and prosperous state. Michigan needs to be a safe place to raise a family, a state that is welcoming and celebrates its diversity, a state that invests robustly in critical areas like public education and infrastructure, and it needs to be a place that attracts and retains talent and works to support businesses of all sizes. After careful thought and deliberation, I have decided that I will not be a candidate for the 52nd State House District in 2016. I am confident that my time to serve the community in a different capacity will come, it will just not be in 2016. I love being mayor of Saline. In fact, uh, I believe that the next few years are critical to this community, and it needs a fully involved and deeply engaged mayor. We have much work that remains undone. Um, the 2016 Michigan Avenue makeover, continued efforts to combat substance abuse and addiction in the community, ongoing work to support and attract investment to our area, with a particular emphasis on small businesses and entrepreneurship. Also next year, Celine will celebrate its 150th year as a community. Rest assured that even though I will not be a candidate for State House, I am confident that there are a number of quality candidates out there, and I am hopeful that I will be able to actively support a candidate who will be a stout advocate for this region and someone who will fight for the issues most important to Celine. As we look to the future, I am absolutely 100% committed to being engaged and active throughout the county and Western Washington in particular. I think that we in Saline and communities throughout the county need to look at a number of issues from a more holistic perspective, transportation funding, regional planning, mass transit, to name a few. Just as important, we need to do a better job of understanding our, our human service needs uh, and supporting those who are vulnerable and at risk. That's a critical responsibility of government. Public service ought to be about doing what's best for the people you represent, not just you as an individual. And in the interest of those I serve, I feel it's critical that I stay and finish the job. I want to thank everyone for attending uh, this morning, and I'm happy to open it up to any questions from the press at this time. Thank you. Brian, what are you most... Uh, proud of what you've been able to accomplish so far in the uh, three years as mayor? I think, Tran, if you look back to where we were in January of 2013 and you look at where we are now in uh, late May, early June of 2015, I think our financial position, our strategic um, uh, position as it relates to finances has improved fundamentally. And I think that's probably the area that I'm most proud of. And, and again, as I stated in my speech, that, that wasn't done by one individual. It was a team. It was a collaborative effort. Uh, <laughs> um, you, you had said earlier, uh, a couple years ago, when you first ran for mayor, that you 
you thought that a mayor should probably commit to being available to run for three terms. Did, did that weigh into this decision at all? Has your thinking on that changed at all? I don't think my thinking has changed on that front. I, I, I think that, as I addressed in my statement, there are a number of, of critical areas that we need to focus on in the next few years. There is much work that remains undone, and I think this city deserves a, a fully engaged, deeply involved mayor. Um, and to run the type of campaign that would ultimately be successful would require so much of my time and energy that I believe I would not have been able to do a, a good job or the type of job that I want to do for the citizens of Seattle. You talked about being able to, um, that, you know, state reps make important decisions that uh, impact the lives of local residents every day. But, you, you know, you're one of many as a state representative. You're the only mayor Celine has. Do you feel like that you can get more done at this point in your life as mayor of uh, Celine than as a state rep? Well, certainly better to be the first among seven as, as opposed to being one of 110. So um, obviously, as mayor, you have, have the ability to have a, a pretty profound impact on the community. Um, you certainly can have that type of impact as, as a state rep, but there's certainly no, no guarantee. Um, and I think your influence is diminished to a certain extent when you're a member of a body that consists of 109 other members as opposed to being a member of a body of seven. you know that I put a particular emphasis on, on attracting investment and also nurturing and supporting existing business. Um, and there's no doubt that we as a community, we as a city need to put more focus and give more time and attention to those businesses who exist beyond our downtown. Our downtown is critically important, don't get me wrong, our downtown is what makes us special and what makes us unique. But uh, I certainly am interested in exploring new strategies and approaches to helping people like you. Um, in fact, this is an offer I know I've made to you in the past. I'd love to sit down with you and talk about some ideas that you have um, for the city and for the community to, to support your interests and to help you grow and prosper in the years to come. Absolutely. This is the time where the camera is ready to help prosper. say this, Ray, as a compliment to you, and I think you're indicative of, of, of a great many Saline businesses, that you chose to invest, you chose to support this community in some very, very difficult economic times, uh, and we appreciate your, your fortitude and your commitment uh, a great deal, so thank you. Thank you. Got another? Um, I guess, what, what would you like to, what do you want to see happen? I don't know, you know, how many more years you'd like to be mayor. You won the last election by the largest landslide and Celine mayoral elect, uh, electoral history. So, I mean, it's hard to see anybody getting in front of the, the Brian Marl train here in Celine, but but assuming nobody d does that, what would you like to accomplish in the next two, four, six years? Well, it, it, it's a good question, Tran, and, and like I addressed in my speech, I think there's, there's more work to be done on uh, attracting and supporting businesses in, in this community, in the city in particular. Um, as you know, progress um, on the substance abuse addiction front has been slower than, than I would like, although I think we're, we're developing some good momentum. Um, we're about at the point of finalizing our strategic framework, um, and strategic framework is great, but it needs to be implemented. Um, and so I, I, I hope to partner with that group um, as it relates to the implementation. Um, I, I think we have uh, work to do, uh, like I addressed in the speech, in supporting those who are most vulnerable in our, our community. You know that uh, I've done a lot of work in, in recent years to support Saline uh, Area Social Services. Um, and this is clearly an affluent community, but there are a number of people at risk. Um, so I think there's a whole host of areas that, that need time and attention um, and much work that remains undone. Anything else?
right? Please, absolutely. Mayor Pro Tem David Rose. of the character that this man has, his commitment to the city of Saline. He has chosen to delay his career progression so that he can continue to serve us here in Saline. And that's, that's a great thing, and I'm honored to work with him. Much has been done, but there's still much to be done in the Saline community. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let me make a, a few introductions because I do have a, a, a number of, of friends and supporters